Our lesson for today is measuring time using a 12 hour and a 24 hour clock. After this lesson, you should be able to measure time using a 12 hour and a 24 hour clock, calculate time in different world time zones in relation to the Philippines, and solve problems involving time. Time is very important. It plays a significant role in everybody's life. All our actions and activities are dependent on time. Knowledge in measuring time helps in proper planning and organizing one's activities. There are two types of clock by which we can tell time. The 12-hour and the 24-hour clocks. Notice that AM and PM are placed to denote whether the time is in the morning or afternoon. There are abbreviations when the 12-hour clock is used. Antimeridium or AM means this time is after 12 midnight and before 12 noon, so from 12.01 AM to 11.59 AM. Postmeridium or PM means this time is after 12 noon and before 12 midnight, so from 12.01 PM to 11.59 PM. Here is a comparison between the 24-hour clock and the 12-hour clock. At the top is the 24-hour clock, showing time, and at the bottom, we have the 12-hour clock. The table below shows the equivalent time between 12-hour clock and 24-hour clock. So here is the time in 12-hour time. And here is the equivalent in the 24-hour time. So 12 a.m. in the 12-hour time is equal to 0 hundred hour in the 24-hour time. 1 a.m. is 0 100 hour. 2 a.m. 0 200 hour. 3 a.m. 0 300 hour. And so on and so forth. Well, 12 p.m. starts at 1200 hours. 1 p.m. 1300 hours, 2 p.m., 1400 hours, and so on. Changing time from 12 hour clock to 24 hour clock. 12 midnight to 12.59 a.m., subtract 1200 from the given time, then write H. Example, 12.57 a.m., subtract 1200, so you will get 0 hundred and 57 hour. 12.02 a.m. subtract 1200, you will get 0 hundred and 2 R. From 1 a.m. to 12.59 p.m. is written as it is in R. Example, 2.09 a.m. 0 200 and 9 R. 9.36 a.m is written as 0,936 R. 12.18 p.m. is written as 12,18 R. 1 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. add 1,200 to the given time. Example, 5.12 p.m. you add 1,200. So, 5 plus 12 is equal to 17 and then 12 plus 0 is equal to 12 so 5 12 p.m. is equal to 1712 R another example 1128 p.m. add 1200 so 11 plus 12 is equal to 23 28 plus 0 is equal to 28. Then put H. So your answer is 2,328R. Changing time from 24-hour clock to 12-hour clock. 1. 0,100R to 1,159R 
is written as it is in AM. Example, 1128R is equal to 1128AM. 0239R is equal to 239AM. 1200R to 1259R is written as it is in PM. Example, 1245R is equal to 1245PM. 1239R is equal to 1239PM. 1300R to 2359R, subtract 1200 from the given time and write it in PM. Example, 1304R minus 1200 is equal to 104 PM. Subtract 13 and 12. So 13 minus 12 is 1. 4 minus 0 is equal to 4. Another example, 2200 and 07R. So subtract 1200. 22 minus 12 is equal to 10. 07 minus 00 is equal to 07. Then write PM. So, 2200 and 07R is equal to 10.07 p.m. Lesson 2. World Time Zones and the Time in the Philippines If you have been to a courier or airport, you will see clocks with different times as the picture shown at the left. The movement of the Earth causes different times at different places in the world, 15 degrees longitudes every hour. Since there are 24 hours in a day, there are 24 standard time zones or 24 hours times 15 is equal to 360 degrees. Time zones are counted from the prime meridian or at 0 degree longitudes and each time zone is counted at 15 interval and extends 7.5 degrees to the left and right of a central meridian. For example, if it is 5.07 a.m. in London or UK, it is also 5.07 a.m. in the places 7.5 degree to the left and right of London or UK. If it is 6.07 a.m. in Paris, France, it is also 6.07 a.m. in the places 7.5 degrees to the left or right of Paris, France. To see the relationship of time in certain places in the time, in our country, let us look at the table below and note that plus sign means ahead and minus sign means behind. Using the table, determine the equivalent time in a particular place and how it is related to the time in the Philippines. Number 1. If Philippine Standard Time is 0530 hour Monday, what time is it in Washington, USA? By looking at the table, Washington, USA is minus 12 compared to Philippine Standard Time. So by subtracting 12 hours from 0530, you'll get 5.30 p.m. Sunday or 1730 hour in the 24 hour format. Number 2, 720 a.m. What time is it in Tokyo, Japan? So, plus 1. So, in Tokyo, it is 8.20 a.m. or 0830 hour. Number 3, quarter before 9 a.m. It means 8.45 a.m. Compared to what time is it in Warsaw, Poland? You have minus 6. So it is 6.45 p.m. in Warsaw, Poland or 1845 hour using the 24-hour format. Number 4. 
quarter after 3 p.m. means the time is 3.15. In Athens, Greece, minus 1. The time in Athens, Greece is 2.15 p.m. And it is equal to 1,415 hours in the 24-hour clock. Number 5. 20 past 5 p.m. means the time is 5.20 p.m. In Vientiane, in Laos, it is minus 1. So the time in Laos is 4.20 p.m. or 1,620 hour in the 24-hour clock. Lesson 3. Application and Problem Solving Example, a bus leaves Manila at 1210 hour on Thursday and arrives in Baguio six and a half hours later. At what time and day the bus arrived in Baguio? Express your answer both in 12 hour and 24 hour clock formats. In order to solve the problem, one, you must understand what is asked in the problem. At what time and day did the bus arrive in Baguio? Express your answer both in 12-hour and 24-hour clock format. B. What are the given facts? A bus leaves Manila at 1210-hour on Thursday and arrives in Baguio 6 and a half hours later. Number 2. Plan. Add 6 and a half hours to 12 110 R. Then express the answer both in 12 R and 24 hours clock formats. Number 3 solve. So make a table in hours and minutes. So 12 hours and 10 minutes. Then 6 hours and 30 minutes. So you add 12 and 6. It is 18. Then add 10 and 30. You get 40. 18 is the total number of hours and 40 is the total number of minutes. So in hours, 12 plus 6 is equal to 18. In minutes, 10 plus 30 is equal to 40. Therefore, the bus arrives in Baguio City on Thursday at 1840 hours or 6.40 p.m. So to check, if you go back 6 hours and 40 minutes, the answer is 1210 hours. If so, your answer is correct.